Okay guys, so today I decided to do a different type of video for you guys. I'm sure you guys seen the Let's Plays, you have seen the renovation episodes. Now, I'm going to give you guys a review on the new Cottage Living that's coming out. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of excited. But the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go and watch the full trailer. And we'll get right into my comments slash, you know, opinions about the trailer. If I would buy this pack or not. Hello, viewer. I'm Harold. Yes, I'm a llama. And no, I don't have an explanation for why you can hear the voice in my head. Instead, let's focus on the point of this video, which I'm telling you now. Over the next 180,000 milliseconds, or three mins, I'm going to show you how to get your cottage living lifestyle tight. So, let's eliminate the excessive exposition of content we're going to get into, and begin. Welcome to Henford on Bagley, the hob. It boasts the rustic appeal of living in a cottage in the woods, with the nearby convenience of a modern day village. Cozy shops, delightful villages, and a tolerable level of activity make for an inviting place to live out your wildest fantasy. Of course, I'm referring to canning. If I had thumbs or any number of fingers, it's all I'd ever do. Sixteen varietals of jam, custards and veg, all jammed in a jar that can be kept for cooking later. Some, like the mouth-watering lettuce conserve, will entice you to eat it on the spot. If you can contain your craving, gather your cans or any of your favorite consumables for consumption into an easily placeable picnic that makes anywhere your dining den of decadence. Not cottagey enough? Fine! I'll give you the wool off my back to cross-stitch with. If you're not feeling confident enough to stitch from reference, there's over 34 designs to prick your pokers on. But let's move on to the real reason you're here. The hot, hot world of garden to tabes. One of the benefits of living in the countryside in a seductively charming cottage such as this is the equally alluring ability to grow your own food. And not the pre-packaged porcinis you buy at the store. These oversized crops will make even the most profesh garden a blush. In a natural transition that I'm currently accomplishing, let's discuss an activity everyone wants their hands dirty while doing. Cooking! The simple living lot challenge will make that magical fridge that's always full obsolete. Now, you'll have to face the facts of foraging for your ingredients yourself. When Grand Grand comes over for your mildly famous Yorkshire pudding, Simply grab some eggs, borrow some milk from your cow named Tater, and mix together with flour from the local grocer. There were many other options that took too long to show being made, so please take a look at them now. <sighs> Moving on to something I resemble, animals. The Animal Shed. What it lacks in interesting naming, it more than makes up for in its ability to confine animals to a space. Place it anywhere on your land and choose a cow, or the better option, llama, to inhabit it. We eat here, sleep here, and yes, die here. It's the perfect place for a romantic gesture. Let's assume you made the horrible mistake of choosing cow and did not immediately trade it for animal treats. Now that you're waist deep in the proverbial cow shiz, you'll have to navigate the oddly satisfying waters of befriending this bovine buddy of yours. Keep their mood level up if you want to have the tastiest milk game in the hob. Try different animal treats to create flavors that are so delish you'll be tipping for joy. Don't fly the coop just yet. This cock and bull story continues, y'all. The chicken coop offers the ability to domesticate up to eight foul feathered friends per coop. An apex animal, the chicken has no known predators, except most other animals, including foxes. The coop can be equipped with the Fox Be Gone, a clever upgrade that triggers an alarm whenever those handsy little thieves try to nick your eggs. One way to truly embrace the cottage living lifestyle is in one obviously direct way. Compete in the Finchwick Fair! Whether you have chicken or egg, cow or milk, crop or pie, there is a competition for you! But it's hard to call it fair when you're the flyest llama in town. So, is cottage living the lifestyle for you? As a llama who knows little else about the world, I'd say... probably. Okay guys, so you guys just seen the trailer. If you haven't, go back and rewatch it if you have to. But I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go through with this muted because this way you can hear me. But 
I will be giving full credit to the Sims team. It's all on their channel, The Sims. So, I will be going through this trailer step by step with every little option. I'm not going to stop every five minutes, <laughs> you know, because no one has time to sit there for a pause, unpause, pause, unpause kind of thing, right? So, I don't want to waste y'all's time. I'm sure your times are precious. You got things you got to be doing. You just want a quick little video to do for work. If you're having a lunch break, you want something to watch real fast. Well, I got you. So we're just going to get into this and get straight into the actual opinions on this trailer. First off, it's when it starts out. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely stunning, right? You got the beautiful, luscious grass, the hills. I love this garden area. It looks like we had new terrain paint. Then you got beautiful, beautiful things over here. New roofing. Looks like this might be a little object you can put on here. I don't think you can make roofs like this or windows like that. Let's see, a pond over here. You got animals, obviously. The chicken coop. This is the cow. So that's gonna be a llama. Look at the beautiful trail. I, I'm loving this. Like, I'm obsessed with this. As soon as it dropped, I had to go buy it. <laughs> I have captionings on, so it's easy to hear. But look, it's a llama. Like, look at this. He is so cute. So this place is called Henford on Bagley, or Hob. So it has in the modern day village. You got farming stalls, which is great. There's like new outfits. Toddlers are so cute. Hugging chickens, the new interactions. They got canning now. Guys, canning. Are you guys one of those people that play Sims 3 that love the canning station? I love to make the jams. Look how perfectly I pause this. Look at her face. She's like so surprised that she did this. <laughs> He's over here having fun, chopping up some. Looks like onions. Looks like those are onions. Crazy, right? Make your own vegetable preserves now. Can you imagine if you put it on toast or jelly or something? Which is so fun. They got clustered jams and veg. They got a different hairstyle here. I'm not sure if this one's new or not, but I know the one in the middle was. Looks like a new hairstyle for kids. And we got, looks like a new ponytail for boy, or girls, too. Not sure if this is new, but I'm pretty sure this one is. They got picnic baskets. That's great. So you can get wool from llamas now, which is amazing. This cross stitch. I like the knitting. Don't know about cross stitching, though. But we will we will try it out when it comes out, right? So children can cross stitch, that's a good thing. And look at all these designs. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a collection of cross stitching just to put it in my house. Garden the table, which is great. So vegetables in the garden go to your countryside life. So I love that tool. You got our bumps, right? You know, like normal planting. But if you look at the dirt, it looks like it's been sewed in, you know? Like with the tractor or something. Now, guys, wouldn't it be amazing if they gave you, like, farm equipment to go with this? <laughs> you know, like, a, even a tractor, even if it's just decorated, you know? Let's see. We got watermelon. That's new. We got lettuce. That's also new. Pumpkin's new, I think, too. Eggplant. Look, kids can bake. I never know that kids can bake. Like, have y'all ever known that? We got a new lot trait called Simple Living. And based on what this says, I'm assuming that it literally just makes you have to harvest your own ingredients. And without it, you can't cook or something. Tell me how. Hang on. Hang on a minute. How is this still moving if it's dead? Eggs, milk. And look, again, kids are cooking. This is going to be so fun for me. I am loving the pond. It's very shiny. The animal shed. Let's you have a llama, cows. And stuff like that, and they sleep in here. Oh my gosh, you guys see this? This little stool right here. It's so cute. I'm loving the stool. I love this hay bale over here. And the bucket makes it feel more lifelike. Here, place it anywhere on the land and choose a cow. They sleep in here. They got a little rooster thing on top. Oh, look. The Grim Reaper is like hugging the llama. Aww, that's so cute. Romantic gestures, so you can woohoo in here. Hint, hint. <laughs> you can make different kind of cows, apparently. You give them, like, a... Who else wants a rainbow cow? I wonder what the rainbow milk tastes like. Do you think it'll taste like Skittles? <laughs> Fun fact, my uh nickname is Skittles because I dyed my hair rainbow. So, 
That's fun. I would love this cow then. <laughs> so now we got chicken coop. And you can have eight little chickens in the chicken coop. <laughs> I love the little fox. He's like a little bandit. <laughs> you can upgrade your chicken coop to have an alarm on it. This looks like a fire alarm that you'll find at a fire station. <laughs> so I don't know how I feel about that part particularly. This is clearly going to be a new world. So we got a farmer's market in the world. We got a little farmer's stall over here. There's a phone booth over here. A little fair where you can show off your prized animals or eggs. You can show off pie. You can show off like food that you've grown. If I were to use this, I'd probably use it mostly for my vegetables. I think you probably get more money for that. Oh, look at this llama. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's too cool for school, guys. Too cool for school. <laughs> I love this dress. With like new shoes. That's definitely, I'm pretty sure, a new hairstyle. I don't know about their hairstyle, but I can tell this is probably new. Looks like ribbons you'd be getting for winning prizes or something. And they got different color frames. It looks so good at night. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice this. You see how he's looking on top of the roof? It's got little bunny decor and a raccoon. <laughs> it's so cute. Now. To be honest with you guys, the reason why I pre-ordered this is that I wanted this. Absolutely stunning, you know? It's a very stunning tree. I love this thing. If I can store food on here, I would definitely use the bike. But I really wanted the tree. You guys don't have to. You can order it when it comes out. But I pre-ordered it because it just tells you when it's going to be available, which is in July, which is amazing. To do note, though, if you get this pack, you have to have base game first. So you need to buy the Sims 4. They still have the sale going on for Sims 4 to buy, you know, base game, those packs or nothing for $5. That's a steal. So if I were you, I would jump into there and go grab that. This part of the village right here is known for their lush estates, rolling hills, and their small but beautiful community garden. This neighborhood used to be a giant property owned by the Watson family, who sold plots of it over the years. They are still a own. They still own a sizable estate perched at the top of the old mill hill. You can't miss it. Now this is just absolutely stunning. Look at like the river. If you want to read any of this stuff? I will link it in the description as well as the actual trailer. But like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you guys feel about this. Be on the lookout for more videos. Bye guys. Have fun.